Welcome back to GDPG, where we play games, talk game design, and we are back for more Steriden. Sturden? Sturden. <laughs> the worst. Oh, man. Okay, so, look at this. They got this cool arena thing you can go to. And, uh, you can change, uh, oh. you can choose a boss to fight. But only bosses you've previously fought. Yup. Okay, that's kind of nice. That way ah. you can't, like, well, you can't preemptively, like, what you're see everyone. Is. Well, that makes sense, because by the time you're facing the boss, you probably already have gone through some sort of upgrade. Yep, and it's only the weapons that you have also picked up. So it's, actually, that's that's pretty cool, because there have been a few weapons I picked up. I'm like, oh, what does this do? Can I die? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fair. So, um... It you, too. I, I assume that a huge portion of this game kind of revolves around the uh, the leaderboards. So I'm sure there are ranked times for how quickly you can beat the boss, too. Might be. Uh, I, I mean, you don't see a timer when you're um, when you're playing. I mean, it could be strictly for the arena. Boom. Is he just, like, sitting there idle until you get that last shot? No, I really wish that's what it did. Like, he's just waiting no, for it you just, to it just No, like, it's like one of those slow explosive things. Uh, you're just okay. like, uh, boom. But I wish, I really wish, that it would just be like sit at your mercy. Yeah, just right. Finish him off. It's one of those things too that would have felt like really satisfying. Yes, it's. Uh, and it's definitely not one of those things where it's like I'll let you live because you fought this battle well. Like that would now, be because you want that that uh, exp or whatever it is you're collecting. <laughs> the I don't points. Know what it is. Yeah, the points. I guess that's points. what it is. So, um, basically, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd bring up the arena, because we talked about this before, where I get, I get really excited, like, the first time I see the boss, I'm like, oh man, what abilities does he have? <laughs> how, how is this going to be challenging this time? How, how is he going to shoot at me? How do I have to react to him? But when you get to go to the arena, you get to practice against them, so eventually that just kind of all becomes moot, because you just get used to playing against them. Yeah. Now, neither of us know what super play is. No. It I've... requires you to kill a destroyer. Yeah, I think I actually did unlock it on my name, but I don't really know what it... I haven't really taken... Jesus, already? God, I suck. You know, it was going through all of our minds, and we were like, should Nintendo really be playing this right now? <laughs> but, uh, you know. <laughs> it's what the people want, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Are those little skulls on some of those asteroids? Yes. Or? Do they do anything in particular, or are they just skulls? They, they look like skulls. What do you mean, do they do anything? I don't know, man. Maybe they're like more, ex you know, like red barrels. They always explode. Why do they always explode? Because they're red. I don't know. Fair Maybe enough. skull asteroids always explode. Why? Because they have skulls on them. Why else? <laughs> now I wish they exploded. I know, right? That's why I was like... Come on, there's gotta be something. No, yeah, there are there are asteroids that already have like red on them though that ah. Mm. Yeah. I got the plasma gun again, which is interesting because that it, there are so many weapons in this game that it really surprised me that I just got got it back to back. That's actually never happened. That's how many weapons there are in this game. Oh, you killed that guy real quick though. Yeah. I really like that explosion. That's uh, really cool animation it does look really cool especially for like pixel art you, it, it's really hard to like find well animated pixel games and like with a game like this no offense to anyone that makes bullet hells but like you really don't see well polished oh, yeah. animations in a bullet hell usually the point of making a space game it, yeah. yeah usually the point of making a space game is that it has minimal animation there's so few animations going on right now it's actually mostly just like the computer like making the particle effect of those bullets just like Bleep. or like the even even your bullets themselves it's just instantiating them and like shooting them off in the direction that the program tells it to do there's no like hand-drawn animation going on um so i think that's one thing that that kind of helps this game stand out from other bullet hells and i mean there are there are certainly plenty of just incredibly beautiful bullet hells um I'm sorry, I would be I talking more, like but I've never pixel. got this weapon before. What? It's Did a you? shield. Like, it's a bot. You set, it's, a, it's one of those bots I was telling that can, you know, fire on their own. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a shield. The problem but is... But it also kills them if they bump into it, so it's kind of like a mine. 
killed mine. Oh, that was bad. Don't do that. I was just thinking that, too. It's like, I don't know if that was in your best interest, buddy. So you can go forward a lot faster. And, uh, that, yeah. It's it's slower to go up and down than it is to... Oh, and it slows them <laughs> down. That's just funny. <laughs> ah, I mean, this is terrible for me. I shouldn't be... So... I can't even kill them. I'm not getting a score for that. How are the controls in general? It seems like you prefer gamepad to your keyboard for this. Yes, much, very much so. Because, uh, I mean, as I said at home, I've just been playing on the keyboard, but uh, you can't, because the keyboard, you don't have as much control over your diagonal movement. Um, and because of that, mm. that does really uh, affect this game. Oh, yeah. Your shield also blocks your own bullets. Yeah, because of that, I mean, I, I understand why. It, uh, if they get shot before they deploy, then they're blowed up. This dead bot really is useful, though. Yes. Oh, ow. There we go. Boom. Wow. That actually does a lot. <laughs> uh, because if you don't destroy it, that happens. Yeah, this is the thing with uh, bullet hells is that I feel like precision is, is absolutely key. Um, so, like, you know, if if it was hard to, like, be precise with your movements, I don't think this game would work. That's Well, that's actually one of the, like, first re things that uh, stuck out to me. I was like, this game is so smooth. He's going to die soon. I just have to not die here. Um, you got this. Because I've been screwing around with that bot this whole time. I really should have just been shooting at him. Ugh. Uh. Whoa. God, those pink lasers are terrifying. Yes, uh, so the different colors generally, all it means is like kind of how they act. Like the blue ones uh, will move slower, but I think that they'll do two damage to you mm. if you get hit, while the pink ones I think only do one, but they always move fast. So you, there are different damages that you can take from uh, different attacks, I guess. Absorb lasers temporarily. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how it works, I, I, but sometimes it feels... I think it's like after you get hit, maybe. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Um, uh, first laser collisions deals less damage. Shockwave on collision. I'm just going to... We're going to try to pick up a heavy weapon. Hope I get it. Normally, you'll see more upgrades for the weapons that you have equipped. Yeah. Either that or that's just been a big coincidence, but I feel like... I mean, from a a random, uh, I guess, or maybe like random generation sort of logic, I would expect it to do so, just to kind of be more fair to the player, you know? Yeah. Much like how if you're in last place in Mario Kart, you, you're more likely to get the lightning bolt or the blue shell. Um, it's sort of a, a balancing yeah. thing just to make the game feel more fun. So I, I hope that's the case. I mean, I, don't, I feel like it doesn't take away anything from the experience, too, if you know that's the case. Or am no. I crazy? I mean, I, I think I would prefer it that way, honestly, because then it's like if I pick up a heavy weapon, it probably means that I wanted to use, a he yeah, that was <laughs> strokes, and oh. then I get hit by that. Um, but yeah, if I pick up a heavy weapon, it probably means that I wanted to use a heavy weapon. It would be really nice if I got an upgrade for that as well. Yeah, right. Because, you like, like right now... encourage the player's choices than dissuade it. Hey, look, there's a TARDIS. Doctor Who is just there. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You know, I'm, I'm kind of happy you can't interact with it, because if you could just destroy it, I'd be like, No, I didn't mean it! I would call bullshit because the because TARDIS, TARDIS is indestructible. Is... Yeah, or certainly more powerful than any dweeby little ship you're flying. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't. We, we've had this discussion a million times. I don't like Doctor Who, so I'm not <laughs> defending it. I'm just <laughs> saying. But you still rules are rules. Yeah, you understand the reality of that world. It's kind of a necessary component to uh, uh, your last things. job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was I going to say? Being I was forced to, to like Doctor Who. There's a destroyer. That I want to be. They give little <laughs> game tags for him. Whoa! Man. That's the other thing. I feel like a lot of bullet hells love these crazy patterns. 
Oh yeah, it's so much fun. You know what the first time I saw these, you know what it reminded me of? Um uh Mario Maker when you could take the the booze and put them like it's circling each other. Mm -hmm. And you could have them like circle around each other and it looked like they were overlapping, but in reality it's just how the animation looked out. Well, it, it's crazy too because I see these things and I'm like, there's you have to know a, at least a decent bit about mathematics to be able to make a game like this. Because a lot of this is just done by, you know, coding formulas in these patterns or using, like, generating, like, a sine wave, for example, for, like, basic packs, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so creating really intricate patterns like this starts to require a lot of, like, I don't know, interesting, interesting math. I've obviously never. It is. No, I mean, it definitely is interesting. Math. As from design perspective, too. Jesus, great. Okay, come on, come on, come. You got this. 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 What the hell is that? Oh man, that was a good way to die. Today is. He was so close. Die. He was so close. Oh man. All right. Well, that's all we have for this episode. We're gonna do at least one more, where hopefully you don't die immediately. That would and, be nice. uh, and then even more if you guys vote for it. So, <laughs> uh, question of the day, I want to ask you guys how you feel about the, um, had it, had it, and then I lost it. Challenge mode, the bosses, uh, uh, we, I don't know. We, we can even talk about the boss battle mode, to be able to, like, practice mm. against the bosses. So do you think that it's good to have something like that in a game like this, where the player can just fight the bosses and get really good at it and then go fight them in the real thing. You know what other game has that? Uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yes, that was actually the first thing I thought of, too. Mm -hmm. So share your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to vote for what you want to see next, and we will see you in the next episode. Adios. Thanks for watching, everyone.